So if we're going to subtract 3x squared from 2x squared, remember that we subtract the coefficients and keep the exponent and the variable the same. So 2 subtract 3 is going to be negative 1. And, sorry, that's a 1. And the x and the exponent stay the same, so the variable and the exponent stay the same, so it's negative 1x squared, which is negative x squared. And so if you understand that, stop the video, and I'll show you then how to do the same thing using algebra tiles. And what we're going to do here is model this, and there's 1x squared, there's our second. Now we only have 2x squared to take away, and we need to take away 3x squared. So we're going to add 1, 0, and this x squared and the negative x squared is the same thing as adding a 0 because um, the x squared and the negative x squared by the 0 principle cancel each other out and result in 0. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take away our 3x squared. So we took away 1, 2, and 3, and what we're left with then is negative x squared and that's what we found here before. 